Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at one of the new features in Universal Control Plane and that's the ability to compose an application from right here in the UI. You can see here on my UCP cluster I've got three nodes and a controller um, and no applications running. So I'm going to come over here I'm going to say compose application. Now I could upload an existing Docker compose file if I wanted to but I'm going to go ahead and paste one in. So I'll put the application name in right here, voting app. And then I'm going to do a paste and paste in my Docker Compose file. You can see here that I'm going to pull down a number of images um, from Docker Hub that comprise my application. So you can see I have a worker image, Redis, a database image based on Postgres. I'm also going to create a volume and a network. So we're going to go ahead and click that button. This takes a few minutes, so we'll speed the video up here and wait for it to come back. All right, so it's done. We'll click the Done button here. We'll go in now. If I take a look here, I've got five containers running. I can show those containers. And here you can see those uh, containers running, Postgres and Redis, the worker container, like I mentioned before. Also have a couple of web-based containers. You can come down here. You can also see that there's that network voting app dash vo uh, underscore vote app that I created. And my volumes, if I come in here and um, I'll just search for them. Oh, excuse me, take that E off. There we go. Um, and you can see the three volumes created on each one of the nodes um, in the cluster. So let me go back to the dashboard. We'll go back into the application here um, and show the running containers. Now let's see if it actually works. So we'll scroll down and we'll first look at the voting app. And if I click on that and scroll down to the bottom, I can find the IP address and the port assigned to that uh, container. So give me a second here to scroll down. And there it is. So we'll highlight that copy it off, fire up a browser tab, click OK, and there we go. And there's my app. So do I like cats? Do I like dogs? I like dogs. So let me go back and we'll do the same thing over again. Click on the uh, um, container. We'll go in here and we'll look at the result app container. So again, show the containers. There's the result app and scroll down. And this web page actually shows the results of our voting. So we'll scroll down again. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's down further. So we'll go down and a little bit more. There it is. Highlight that. Copy it off. Open a new tab. Paste it in. And there you can see uh, dogs versus cats and the vote changes. So now I'm a cats person. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information, visit us at www.docker.com.